Hello everyone, Happy New Year. Thanks for tuning in for the first video of the year. Um, this video was obviously recorded in 2022, but since New Year's is on Sunday, you are now seeing it. So this will not count as my first video of the year because I want to start off fresh. I've got a big announcement coming and it's probably going to come either this Wednesday or next Sunday if I can get things put together quick enough. But in any case, this pour today, I absolutely love it. I'm having a lot of fun with open cup pours and I got some inspiration from work. As you know, I do work in the airline industry, so when I'm at work walking through the airports and stuff, I see lots of Christmas decorations. Well, let me tell you, this Christmas tree right here that you're seeing now gave me such inspiration for today's painting. I love the deep green from the Christmas tree. You get that nice blue, that green. And so I'm going to incorporate those colors in today's pour. Today I'm going to be doing an open cup pour. I'm having a lot of fun with these. It's really fun how you move the cup around and by moving and placing the cup around different places on the canvas, it creates its own barrier to each pour. So you almost get like a wreck effect without actually having to wreck the painting. So I'm really excited about this. I'm hoping this colors really play well together on the canvas because it looks so great on the tree. So thank you so much for watching. Happy New Year. Let's get down on the canvas and start painting. I'll be right back. All right, everyone. So what I'm using today is a 24 by 24. It's an edge canvas that I got from Jerry's Artorama. Taped push pinned on the back. And let's talk about these colors real quick. I love them as I showed you in the picture of that Christmas tree. So the first thing I'm going with is going to be my white. That's titanium white from Amsterdam. This here is metallic leaf green with some black because I'm going for that dark, deep color for a Christmas tree. I'm using silver that's going to represent the balls, the silver balls. I'm also using the Amsterdam in the yellowish green. Yellowish green or greenish yellow? Yellowish green. I always keep saying that backwards. Anyways, that's the color there. All my paints are with Liquitex Gloss Medium paint and Floetrol and just a little bit of water to thin them down to get them the consistency that I want. And the last color is Metallic Cobalt Blue. Here is the paint consistency. It's barely making a mound on top of a mound and it sinks right back into itself because for an open, up, open cup pour, you want to have a very thin consistency. Okay, so what I'm using for today is a 16 ounce cup. I've just cut off the bottom, so I'm gonna pour right into that. I am going to start off with a little puddle of white here. I'm gonna set that right in the center of it. Perfect. And now we're gonna to start to pour. I'm gonna go off with the green first. Pouring up high. By pouring up high, it's going to sink and start to push the cup around. There is the silver. The greenish yellow. And the blue. Here comes the paint. I think I'm going to go one more time with this. Just a little bit of white. Some of that deep dark green. That silver. yellow and the metallic cobalt blue look at that push out beautiful
Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slightly lift up my cup and I'm going to rotate it back here towards the back. And what I would like to do is I'm going to do another right here. white here in the center let it fill up the cup it's going to push this up against the existing pour and it's going to create its own natural line we'll put some green I'm also going to put a little bit of white around the edge Green. And blue. Go in here again. twist, move it off this way, Let's put a new cup right here. another one right here. All right, I'm liking this. Now I'm really debating on whether or not I want to do some loop-de-loops with the wreckage. I don't know yet. What I'm going to do is I am going to put down some flow extender.
majority of the weight is right here, I can tell already. So I'm gonna walk it this way. Yes, I am on my way. All right, I'm gonna leave this right here. I'm not gonna move it anymore. There is a little extra paint on there that I'm not, I'm scared if I tilt any more off, it's gonna screw up the composition. I love the comp composition. These lines, the directional change in lines is just beautiful. The cells are just fantastic, um, yeah. I'm gonna leave it right here. I'm loving what the silver and the white are doing in all of the tiny cells that are through here. Yep, I'm gonna scrape, I'll torch, and then I'm gonna bring you guys in. All right, here we are with the wet result. I love this so much, guys. Beautiful, great cells. Everything stayed intact. You can see every single color and the directional change of the lines. 
fantastic. I absolutely love this. Let me bring you in here. Guess every time the snow is falling down and it is cold outside, we gather around the fireplace and no one cares about yesterday. All right, I'll show you this when it's dry. I'll be right back. All right, here's the dried result. It's really cloudy here today, but the snow is starting to melt a little bit, so that's great. Let me bring you in here for a close-up. All right, everyone, that's gonna do it for today's video. I am so happy with the outcome of this piece. It really does encompass all of the colors from the Christmas tree. You got the metallic cobalt blue really running through here. You got the deep green, you got the greenish yellow, you got the white and silver really playing into each other. So it just dried fantastic. I couldn't be happier with it. So thank you so much for watching today. Thank you everyone for this last year of support. You've really helped boost my channel. You've really made me feel like a wonderful artist and I'm so grateful for your support. Also everyone, don't forget, I have got an announcement coming up. It's going to be announced either Wednesday or Sunday of this week. I'm trying to get things put together in time to do it all. So keep your ears out and open for that. All right, everyone. Thank you so much again. Happy New Year. I hope you had a great celebration. I hope your 2022 was great. And I hope your 2023 is even better. Everyone, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your support. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye now.